Hope's Locker is an extension of Project Hope. Even though it's located at Bryan Collegiate High School, it's open to all Bryan ISD students, faculty, staff, and their families. Megan Minkma is the Project Hope Coordinator for Bryan ISD. She is anticipating several hundred community members this school year. Minkma says Project Hope and Hope's Locker are changing the lives of those in need. Our office is tasked with identifying and verifying our homeless students in the district so that we can just make sure that they are aware and utilize the additional services that we can offer them, as well as we are housed with Hope's Locker. Um, it's a clothing closet, it's a food pantry, and it's something that they can come and utilize once a month. Everything at Hope's Locker is at no cost to those that shop inside of it. They have anything you might need, like several types of hygiene products, a variety of shoes, different style clothing, and non-perishable food items. Mikma shares her gratitude for the community members that either donate their time, money, or efforts into the cause. We're really blessed to have a lot of community support, and so we have some consistent donors that typically come to us at the beginning of each school year as well as throughout the year. The Bryan College Station Realty Gives Back Committee is one of those consistent donors. The co-chairs express what it means to them to be a part of a committee that is so invested in volunteering and helping out those across the Brazos Valley. Paige Nauman, who is from the area, expresses how it felt like a full circle moment for her. I'm a hometown kid, so I was born and raised in Bryan College Station. And so nothing brings me more joy than being able to now give back to the community that I feel like got me to where I am now. And especially being a child that went through the Bryan ISD school district and has friends that have gone through the other school districts, we never had to worry about where we got shoes or clothes or school supplies. And now to be able to provide that for the kids in our community who don't have that privilege or ability, it's such a gift to us. Jeannie Howarden adds why she is so passionate about what she does and how little things we can all do make a big difference for those in need. I think for me, the reason why I just love doing this is when we get to bring those shoes up there, when we get to hand over the check, when we get to call them and say, hey, we have this for you, when we get to volunteer our time to help these families, it just... It just brings about such a great sense of community um, and love for one another. And I think in a time where we all feel like we are a little bit disconnected from humanity, it shows us that the good is still out there. Throughout this school year, there are monthly requests for specific items to be donated. You can either drop them off at Project Hope or the admin building. In Bryan, Rachel Witter, KRHD News.